the number of athletes has increased, um, number one, because we added girls' athletics. Um, that, that has been one of the big changes. Also, um, the classifications. And um, there's been five classification changes since the state meet started. In 1938, it went to two classes. In 45, it went to three classes. Then in 64, it went to four classes. 69 to 5 classes, and then in 79, we went to 6 classifications. So, adding classifications, adding girls, and then also Wichita State expanded their track, and we've gone to taking 4 athletes per regional in each event rather than 3. So, um, that's, that's probably been one of the biggest changes. Them be able to add events has also um, been interesting because we added the triple jump for both boys and girls, we added the javelin for girls, we added the pole vault for girls, um, the javelin basically replacing the softball throw. The change from yards to meters in 1979, um, scoring, used to score five places, we score eight places now and medal all of them. It used to be, even though we'd score them, only the top three would get medals for a long time. That was a big one. And then probably the most recent change that's been the most significant um, was the change of moving the 3,200 meters of the two mile to Friday, where we run the prelims that were running 1, 2, 3A in the morning, we run the 3,200 meters before they start their prelims. Then 4, 5, 6A run their prelims, 3,200 is run after their prelims. So rather than having the distance athletes have to run three or four events all on Saturday, they can run that 3,200 on Friday. And I think that's probably one of the most significant changes that's occurred here recently. And, um, other than the possibility of maybe adding an event in the future, that will probably be the, the most significant change. Surfaces that they compete on. The Actually, the first all-weather surface state meet was on a track that had a surface that was about as hard as running on a street out here. And that was actually held in Salina. It wasn't even in Wichita where we've been over the years now. And then moving the state meet, that was in 1967, and then moving the state meet to Wichita in 1970. It's been there on a regular basis except for 1978 when they were renovating Cessna Stadium and the state meet was split between, um, I believe it was Salina and the Shawnee Mission area and Wichita, one of the high schools. We had it split up that one year, but every other year it's been at Cessna Stadium. Um, Facility-wise, for athletes today, it's hard for some of them to realize that um, pole vault pits and high jump pits were sand rather than foam or something like that for years and in 1966 is when sand was outlawed in the pole vault pit. Um, it was outlawed in the high jump pit in 1970 and then um, when they got away from sand they started using sawdust in the high jump pits for a while and finally in 72 that was outlawed and so it's been the foam pits since then. But um, I know when I was in high school, I thought I wanted to be a pole vaulter because my older brother was a pole vaulter. And as a freshman, I was vaulting at nine feet. I lived flat on my back in a sand pit, and I said, I don't want any more of this event. And so that was the end of my pole vaulting. There's a couple things in particular, I think, that make the state meet different than other state meets. Number one is we have six classifications 
boys and girls, so actually 12 track meets that we run simultaneously over two day period. It's 3,000 plus athletes every year that we run in there. And most states will have one to maybe three classifications and a lot of those states will still split. They run boys one weekend, girls another weekend, something like that. So it's by far the largest high school state meet in the country. Most people would think about uh, Jim Ryan from Wichita. He's running the first high school sub four minute mile against high school competition. He'd run the sub minute mile the summer before, but that was the first one that was ever in a prep competition, which was, was special. Sandra Myers from over here at Little River, um, a 1A school at that point in time. Um, she was the first girl that won four events in one state track meet. She won the 100, the 200, um, the long jump, and, um, and then she went ahead and basically led Little River to state championships three out of four years just using basically her points. She had some teammates that contributed some other points to it, but it was basically Sandra Myers, and then she went on to become an Olympian for Spain. Wendell Gaskin out of Kansas City, Washington, was probably one of the most unusual athletes from the aspect that he was profoundly deaf, but still, he won the uh, 100 meter, or 200 meters and the 400 meters being completely deaf go to the starting line and you know he would be looking up watching the starter to see when the starter would pull the trigger on the gun and watching for the flash of the gun and then reacting but won both the 200 and the 400 meters um, that way um, and then the next year he won the 100, 200 and 400 so um, Wendell Gaskin was, was a very special situation he later I believe went to K-State and ran for a couple of years. Um, I guess that would be, oh, and how can I forget, um, Jackie Stiles. Um, she came in, she won the 400, 800, 1600 meter, 3200 meter all on the same day. And that was before, and it was one of the changes that occurred. We moved the 3200 meters to Friday. And, but, uh, See one athlete be able to win all four of the distance events just back to back to back to back in one day is amazing. And then the 2010 celebration of the 100th anniversary of the state meet. Um, that, that was always special because we got a chance to contact a lot of Olympians that later that came back for the meet. A lot of former champions came back. We had former champions that were presenting the medals. Um, we had the display of memorabilia from over the hundred years. Actually, we had the school that won the first state meet found the trophy from that first state team championship in their basement brought it out, shined it up, brought it to Wichita. So that whole year was really, was really special.